we're going to just compare the performance of Bitcoin and Ethereum and Hex here. Bitcoin is down 52% in 40 days. Back to, I'm going to measure this. Actually, it's worse, worse than that. Um, hold on a second. I'm going to move one of these. Bitcoin has been down uh, 54% in 35 days. Bounced a little bit. But we're measuring like top to bottom here. So in a month, dropped 54%. Mind you, Michael Seller was going on Twitter and on YouTube telling everyone to mortgage their house, sell their business, sell everything they own, and buy Bitcoin. Just for the record. That guy is down to 54% in 35 days. Who would say shit like that? I mean, I don't know. Like, maybe say that shit at the bottom instead of the top? Probably. I'd have to get a timestamp on the exact date that he said that, but... Then he's got a good clip saying, there is no second place! There is no second place! There's only Bitcoin! And you're like, man, you guys are gonna get flipped, so you're gonna wish there was a second place because that's where you're gonna be soon. Like, Bitcoin is going to get flipped. Ethereum should flip Bitcoin. I, I believe Hex will flip Bitcoin. No crystal ball, but hey, look at the chart. It's just a matter of time. The technology's garbage. <laughs> Rubbish. <clears throat> so, Bitcoin is now back to its price of 111 days ago. So it gave back the whole, like, it went up to 41K, dumped to 30K, now it went back and revisited the bottom of the dump. And so giving it its most favorable measurement in 111 days, it's back to where it was. Okay, cool. So let's measure. So it gave up 111 days of gains. That's what that means. So you could get in right now the same price into Bitcoin as you could have four months ago. So now let's do the same math for Ethereum. ETHUSD. Ethereum has only given back 54 days of gains. So you could have bought Ethereum for the exact same price you can buy it for now, or could have today. It bounced a little bit. It's at 1900 it was it 1700 uh, 55 days ago. So it gave back half the amount of time of gains. So Bitcoin gave up three months of gains. Ethereum gave up 55 days. We'll call it two months. All right. And actually, my math was wrong on Bitcoin. It was four months of gains. So it's, you know, it's 111 days compared to 55 days. It's like oddly double. Interesting. To verify that BTC number, 55 days versus 111 days. Yeah. So it's crazy. So Ethereum gave back 55 days of gains. Bitcoin gave back 111 days of gains. Can't wait to make this tweet, by the way. Because who does analysis like this? Like nobody else is giving you numbers in this way. It's really neat. It's cool. Because it lets you it lets you understand that if something runs up a lot, you can afford a much larger dip and still be very happy because it ran up so much. Right? Like like Hex has dipped 80%, 70%, 70%, 70%, and it's up 1200 x which is like 120,000%. So Yes, that's fine. If something runs up more, you can afford more dips. But with these currencies, like Bitcoin and Ethereum, you're eating giant dips without the same run-ups. 